And good evening, everyone. I'm Mick Lefebvre. I'm Juliette Dragas. First at 6 o'clock, the increased police presence near a Jenison Elementary School. Comes after a female student claimed a man tried to get her into his truck. Investigators say the incident happened yesterday in the vicinity of Rosewood Elementary School. 13 On Your Side's Noah Fromson spoke with district leaders and police about their response. Between the Friday and Monday bells, kids aren't in the classroom, but they may still be around. In my 17 years, we don't have these kind of situations happening during a regular school day. Jenison Superintendent Tom Tenbrink said he got a call Sunday afternoon that a Rosewood Elementary student was near the school when she was approached by a man in a truck. Older truck, it was a red truck with a black stripe, and he uh, rolled down his window and told her that uh, he had talked with her mother and that it was okay for him to take her to lunch. Tenbrink says the girl told the man no, quickly going to a friend's house to tell an adult, which is exactly what they teach their students to do. Leave immediately and don't go with a stranger, no matter what they're enticing them with, whether it be a puppy or candy, um, you know, in this case, a free lunch. And our school resource deputies were on scene uh, before school started today. Tenbring sent out a letter that night to all the parents in the district explaining why they would have increased security Monday. Police say community members and school resource officers have already found some vehicles matching the description. Some photos have been, you know, uh, transferred about. So we're, we're attempting to identify the owners of those vehicles to see if they would have had any involvement and if they did what their intent was. We're not taking any chances. While staff and police keep looking for the suspicious person, Tenbrink says it's a time for teachers and parents to use this incident as a reminder. Without always scaring them, but at the same time, you know, reinforcing what you know, would be safe for them. Now, anyone with information regarding the suspicious vehicle or person is encouraged to call the Ottawa County Sheriff's Office or Silent Observer. Reporting in Jenison, Noah Fromson, 13 on your side.